Hey guys, my name is Madison Don't and I am a science grad, bio teacher and naturopathy student. About three months ago I went off the pill and because I didn't have the little lines anymore to remind me when my period was coming, I really needed to get a good tracking app. So in the past I've tried quite a few and I did download all of the tracking apps available on the app store that looked decent when I did first come off the pill just to make sure that I was getting the best one. But in the past I've really just downloaded it, tried it for a month and then yeah it's either been too hard or it just wasn't what I really needed um, and so I would always end up deleting it but I've definitely found the perfect one um, now and it is mostly because it has a notes section so it really allows you to track pretty much anything you want so I might also write in there like you're not just pressing the mood and being like oh I'm sad today but you can actually write like why you're sad um, and also if I have breakouts or if if I have a particular food and it makes me feel sick so like intolerances you can just kind of keep it all to one area um, but it does also have some really awesome features to track your symptoms that I will show you in a second so we're gonna jump over to the bed because um, it's a little bit more comfier and I will show you through the app so if I just open it up um, so straight away it tells me how many days left until my next period. This is based off the ones that I've previously tracked. So um, first off, let's go down the bottom to where it says log charts um, and then I'll show you the calendar. So you can see here um, that my period was May the 20th and that was a 46 day cycle. Now when they count your cycle, they count the days of your period. So the first day of your cycle is the first day of your period. Um, so I think that period was probably like six days long. Um, I think you can actually check it. Oh, it was five days long. Um, so between the periods, it was actually like 41 days after I stopped that period until I got the next one. Um, so then my next one was 52 day cycle. Um, and this one's expecting to be like the averages of those. Um, so of course it should probably get more regular um, as I am longer off the pill. So now let's go back home um, and let's go to calendar. So. Here's the calendar, um, what you can actually do to customize it. So let's just say that I was writing notes for today. Um, I go in and here you can type whatever you want. Um, and that really helps because it can also track um, other things as well. So for example, I started to track my acne on here and when I would break out and when I would have dairy, like a cheap dairy day, which regrets um, and all the things like that. So it kind of allows you to keep it all in one place. Um, and you can go to lifestyle. I don't really use this stuff too much, but if you want to try and track your fertility and stuff through temperature, it allows you to do that. Um, and symptoms. So this is a really awesome section. Um, you can use the symptoms that they've created for you there, or you can create your own symptom. So if you go add symptom, you can choose like the customizable little character for it and what it is so that you can track. Um, and it's just like on a three point scale. You can also do moods. So press how you're feeling and that way you can track your moods throughout the month and see whether you do in fact get a little bit more grumpy um, before your period. So that's another useful tool there. Um, but other than that, yeah, so Here's one of my periods um, and yeah, that's kind of how it shows up on the calendar and it shows you the, the colors according to like light and medium and heavy days. So I haven't had any heavy days yet. So that's kind of how it all shows up. Um, and the little gray dots are showing you that I've put in notes. So I've um, put in notes or like tracked my symptoms or tracked my moods. Um, so. Yeah, it is a, a very useful tool. All of that stuff that I've just showed you is free. Um, you can, I think, yeah, you can pay for um, a more advanced one, um, but I don't feel like I need it because that has all of like the note taking and symptom stuff that I need to record anyway. 
So there you have it. I hope you found this review helpful. If you have, then please make sure to like it below and subscribe because I bring out new videos every week. But I also encourage you to comment down below with what your favorite feature was or if you have any other apps that are equally as useful. Um, but other than that, make sure to jump over to my Instagram community because everyone on there is super lovely and supportive and it is growing every day. But that's it from me today and I will see you in my video next week.